This AI agent of mine now can connect to hundreds of different connections as you can see on the screen through different Google based applications and even non Google based applications without any coding through utilizing integration connector on GCP and with its new integration with Google EDK now I can have my AI agents utilizing all these no code connectors to do tasks and do knowledge retrieval and be able to execute actions on behalf of me without me worrying about creating these connectors or being concerned about not having an enterprise get a great security level access control on these type of authentication and integrations. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize them and then quickly create a demo together. Integration Connectors is a service on GCP that as you can see on my screen, it will let you actually create enterprise grade connectors to all these sources. Some of these sources, as you can see, they're actually Google services. So you can namely click to AlloyDB, uh, BigQuery, YouTube Analytics, Gmail, G Drive, so on and so forth. But also scrolling down, it will also let you connect to non-Google based services and applications and these are all just a couple of them named as of now, but it is pretty evolving. Whenever I see that, I see much more connectors to different type of applications getting added here. So the question is, this is great. Now, without any coding, I can create connector to all these sources. Can I use them for my AI agents to be able to retrieve knowledge, but also do tasks and do actions? The short answer is yes, and this is what we're going to do today. So let's see what's the benefit of having these integrations added to our AI agents because you might say I can do this with MCP or I can maybe create a custom connector by myself to use it as a tool for my AI agent. Well, here's the benefit. On the left side, you can see I have my AI agent created. For this demo, I'm going to use ADK, which is an open source uh, Python package and Java also released by Google for creating AI agents. So it's an agent framework. And I have already dedicated a video about this. What's the benefit of that and how you create an agent with ADK? I'll add the link of that in the YouTube description below. So check that out. If you don't know, this is amazing tool for creating agents. And this tool, because it's released by Google, it has native integration with this application integration that I showed you, which has a list of all those connectors. So when you have your agent here, you can then define your connectors to be utilized by the agent. So what's the benefit of using this application integration connectors? First of all, the authentication piece is going to be piece of cake for you because you do it once in enterprise grade level. There are different type of authentication for those connectors with limited access scope. When you do it, it's done. Now that connector is ready to be called by your AI agent. You don't need to worry about maintaining these connectors or when these APIs of these connectors to different applications get updated, you don't need to be worried about, oh, I need to change my API or update my API because let's say connecting to Stripe or Outlook or Gmail has been changed. At error handling, these connectors are, again, production level code connectors created for you. You don't need to do it by yourself and they are definitely following production best practices like error handling and also schema discovery is there. That means you don't need to tell your agent, hey, this is how you call this tool. This is the schema. This is what you need to provide inputs for calling that because on backend, the ADK integration with application integration will do it for you. So on the enterprise system side, I just showed you a couple of examples there, but here are a couple of more names of Kronikity to more than hundreds of different applications. So again, I'm not going to go through all of this, but I just wanted to showcase these names in case you have projects and looking for creating your AI agents to be connected to a couple of these tools and services for any project. Stop coding those connectors and maintaining and doing authentication all by yourself when there are services like this that you can utilize it as of now. So scrolling down, what's the actually key benefits? As we discussed, again, it's pretty rapid. You don't need to code anything. It's low code. And I will show you that without any code, with just a couple of clicks, I'm going to create my connector for showcasing in the demo shortly. It is enterprise security. I told you about it already. So it follow all best practices in authentication, authorizing that. And also you can enable that with virtual networking if you want to secure the connection to these services and agents to make sure they are coming from a secure network. Auto scaling, if there are a lot of demands going through your agents, 
you want to make sure the connector that you have to those tools are capable of responding to these agentic tasks and requests that is coming in. But good news is that with these application integration connectors on GCP, it has auto scaling capabilities and it is a managed infrastructure and backend that listen to these requests and connect your agent to those connectors even if the demand is high. So no maintenance is needed from you as we discussed. You don't need to worry about updating these connectors or maintaining these API calls. And it is pretty user friendly for an AI friendly for creating connectors for your AI agents. And it's pretty cost effective too. just several lists to manage. You don't need to actually run 24 seven machines for running heavy custom connectors that you code. All right. Here are just some simple real world use cases to just give you ideas of how you can use these integrations. Let's say for customer services, I see a great potential because now you can connect these AI agents to different internal tools and databases you have to answer a customer query. You just need to, uh, you need to access to the databases, some PDF, some PowerPoint, some uh, ticketing issues, some customer information, and having that with just one agent is, is really not enough and coding that by yourself is cumbersome. With these connectors, which are more than hundreds, you can connect to all these different sources you have and then connect your agent to do the work for you. Same thing for sales process. Let's say you want to connect to HubSpot to identify best leads and then you found a lead, then you want to create an opportunity in Salesforce. Good news, HubSpot and Salesforce, they have connectors in this service. And then you need to maybe create uh, um, a proposal or, or a draft. You then need to connect to some database services like SAP, which is also supported. And then you might need to send it as an email or a DocuSign for contract processing. Still, it is supported in these connectors. Lastly, for IT operation, as you can say, there are different type of sources that you can detect anomalies or issues and create maybe incident with ServiceNow or Jira to create tickets and assign it to other people. This is available in a list of connectors that I just showed you about. All right, so for the demo part, what I want to do, I want to create my AI agent using Google ADK, which is again an open uh, source framework for creating AI agents, to be able to create an agent that connects to my Google Drive or sheets that I have there, and, and also maybe Gmail, to be able to do all those tasks for me with my just my chatbot, uh, but I'm not going to create any connectors and I'm not going to create and launch any MCP server or, or, or deploying that as a container to be able to use it for my agent. I want to use this connector service of GCP. So before I dig in, when I have that connector created, I'll show you how, as I told you, Google ADK, which is like, for example, LangChain that you develop agents, it has native connections to this application integration tool. Again, you can use LangChain or other uh, AI frameworks, but ADK has an advantage, which is has its own native connection to application integration. Then after creating that, I will just import this application integration connector to ADK, and it will say that, hey, I have in my GCP project, which is in this location, I have already created a connector to my Google Drive, and this is the name of that, which I'm gonna show you shortly how I did it. So. This is the actions that you can, you can get the file, list the metadata, delete them, update them, add comments, whatever you list here is up to you. And then this is the instruction that how you can use this tool. So I am defining this tool and then I can give this tool to my agent, which I am defining that with ADK. Hey agent, this is the model Gemini 2.5. Here's the application name and your helpful assistant. This is the instructions you wanna give. And by the way, these are a list of tools that you have access to. And these tools are defined here on the top. That's the key. And then you can ask agent, let me, let's say list all the files that I have in my drive. The response is back. And I'm gonna give it a try in my uh, GCP environment right now. So here I am in integration connections. You can see that I have already created multiple connectors with different sources, but just show you how with searching integration connector on the search bar, you should be able to click on connections and then you will see this uh, page. Then you click on create new here, you just need to specify what region you wanna have the infrastructure to create these connectors. This is technically what Google will use to maintain and create the connector for you. And it's all managed, nothing needed from you, just, just maybe a name for having that hosted for you. So I would say, let's say I wanna have it in the US, then here is actually a list of connectors available that I just show you their icons in the documentation. So you see it's a lot. Again, it's both Google applications and non-Google applications. Here, let's say I want to connect to my Google Drive. So I just simply type drive, num uh, connector version number one. I will give it a name 
and potentially description you can enable logging which is absolutely helpful to figure out if the connection is failing not working what's the issue you don't need to code it by yourself so i want to enable that and remember i told you auto scalability you can have minimum and maximum number of nodes for being able to uh, respond to heavy traffics when agents are doing calling a lot this connection and then for authentication piece, based on the type of connector or source of application you're connecting, you have different options here. That's why, again, you don't need to code or worry about authentication when your AI agent is going to do some tasks with some sources. This is another advantage that I just um, talked about that. I want to go with the Google Manage one because I'm connecting with my Google Drive. And the scope, you can also limit how much power you want to give to this AI agent, right? For example, I want to, let's see, edit create and delete all of my Google Drives, or I just want to uh, maybe view my Google Drive app or just maybe getting some metadata or read only. Let's say I want to have all these, click on connect, and I'm done. If I click on create, it's going to create my connector because I already did it that, so I'm not going to create it again. And you can see that my Google Drive is here and I was testing with some other Google applications and maybe also non-Google ones like Stripe. It all worked perfectly for me. Now, now I can take this connector Add it to my AI agent with ADK to start interacting with these connectors. But one more thing I'm going to show you. You can actually create some automations in application integration of Google using these connectors. By automation, I mean there are some tasks that they are deterministic. Hey, grab this file, send an email to that person, write down this, summarize this, and maybe create a ticket. Something like that. So that workflow is sort of like an automation. You might like to create this automation by yourself and then let agent call the automation, not maybe agent doing all the automation by themselves because some of the automations are deterministic, so better to do them without an agent and maybe having agent triggering them. That's why there's another option that you can create this automation here in GCP and the agent will call this automation. So let me show you how. Um, so for going to the automation, when I type just integration or application integration, now I am going to this GCP service that let me create integrations or automation using the connectors I created. Good news is that you don't need to develop this no code integration by yourself. You can actually ask Gemini to do it. So here I want to say that, let's say, hey, uh, connect to my drive connector that I just created to fetch list of all files that I have there and then send email using Gmail connector that I created also, uh, including list of file names. So let's say I wanna have list of my files from Google Drive as a list sending to an email. So for doing so, I can ask maybe multiple agents to do this using these connectors or maybe create this automation here and let the agent trigger them. So you will see that it just provided a, a high level steps that I need to have in place with giving a name. It is telling me that, hey, this is what I'm going to do. So I click on confirm. And there you go. It just actually created sort of this workflow for me that received a trigger, fetch the files from Google Drive, extract the file names and send it as an email using the connectors that I specify in the application integration. So when I publish this, now my agent can call this as well. For this demo, I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you our possibility. For this demo, my AI agent just want to connect to Google Drive, let's say, to use the connector, not using the automation. All right, so now going back to my AI agent, let's see how we define it. You can see that I have agent.py, which I'm using Google EDK. Again, I have already explained what is Google EDK. I have created a, I think, one hour tutorial about Google EDK. The link of that is in the video description below, so check that out. I assume you already know how to define an agent in Google EDK, so not repeating them again. Here I'm saying that I have an agent with this name, and I am giving some tools, and these tools are coming from connector tools that are from uh, application integration of GCP, which is imported from tools.py. And tools.py is actually here. This is the section that I'm connecting to my project, to my location. And remember, I have a connection called drive to show you again. Here we go. I have my connector created with the name drive. So I'm using the same name here called drive. And let's say I want to just do these actions with my Google Drive connection that I created. And that's pretty much all. Based on your use case and um, agent, you might have different tool name and tool instructions. And what I'm going to do, 
for launching this i just need to type adk web adk will launch an internal ui for me that i can play around with my agent to just make sure this connector connector is working so let me open this and i want to choose my agent and say give me list of files that i have in my google drive and there you go you can see that it perfectly and correctly listed all the files that i have in google drive and as you know you can have that flow of events happening with your agents visualized nicely with google edk so you see that it connected to my actually list of tools that i have which one of them was google drive and was able to capture a list of documents that i have and give me the response back to me correctly so this was a quick example of how you connect your AI agent to connectors that you create inside integration connectors in GCP. But again, I told you that you can also create automation workflows and let your AI agent trigger that. So let me also show you how in Google ADK. So this is actually the code that we just use in the demo for connecting to actually connectors. Let's say here, I connected to my Google Drive and listed some actions and it worked perfectly. Also, if I scroll down, there's a reference here for syntax on how you create integration workflow with your adk so very similar to how you create a connector to connectors you can create also connections to in, uh, workflows with just simply letting the name of the integration or automation that you create in application integration we triggering that with an api call and potentially if you are using service account to authenticate that you can add it here and then list of tool names and tool instructions and there you go now your AI agent can trigger this automation if needed beyond just triggering the connections as needed. All right, that was a quick overview of, first of all, what is um, application integration in GCP and what's the benefit of that to utilize it for AI agents and how this integration comes in, specifically with Google ADK. And I realized that MCP, although it is great and it's fantastic and it's pretty evolving and well-respected in community, but somehow the way that we're mainly and mostly deploying MCP for creating connections to our agents are not really safe or enterprise grade level ready. That's why I figured out this connection on GCP is really covering all those gaps. And it's pretty easy to create without any coding. As we saw, just with a couple of clicks, I created my first connections and I was able to empower my agent. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it fruitful. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon. Make sure you share your thoughts in comment sections and also subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Thank you so much.